So a, a very uh, warm welcome to everybody. It's so nice to see so many of you coming for the launch of the Georgian Amis Center for the Living Planet. Of course, we, we have the, the launch, but also we want this to be a celebration of um, Georgina's career. <laughs> Professor Dame Georgina Mace, DBE, FRS, didn't much like being called that at all. Um, titles didn't really mean a lot to her. She wanted her work to make a difference, and it really did. So following my first postdoc in Berkeley, I took a year out to study yoga in Mysore. Georgina, back then, was the uh, director of the Institute of Zoology. She interviewed me and threw me a critical lifeline. And, you know, it's been an incredible honour to be a member of the team that's uh, inaugurating this multi-centre faculty named after Georgina. There are very few scientists who can put their hand on their heart and say they played the defining role in establishing a globally agreed standard used by all nations. And Georgina was one. Georgina and I have gotten together to talk about why species go extinct. And it kind of shifted to her explaining the absolute scale and the rate of biodiversity loss that we were experiencing and our growing understanding of why that really, really mattered to us and to society. I thought more broadly and more joined up and that's influenced my career from this point, that point onwards. This, as I'm sure you can imagine, is both a sad but a very proud moment for me and for our family. Sad because it's a reminder of our loss, but proud also and genuinely a source of great comfort to see Georgina being remembered and honoured in this way. As others have commented, she was always approachable, had no airs or graces, had time for everyone, and was always calm and good-tempered. I soon lost count of the number of comments and tributes that referred to the leg up she gave so many younger people. We talked about many other aspects of her work, but this wasn't something she mentioned particularly. It was just what she did, who she was. It was all in a day's work. <laughs> It's absolutely vital at the moment to bring together both biology and climate change and to think about the biodiversity challenges that we're facing. She was just a fantastic and fun person to work with, always really sparky, made you feel very welcome and really pushed you to do the best you possibly could, always with a really open and welcoming heart and we all miss her very, very much. She was an inspiration to so many people here and to so many young scientists and as everybody's been saying today, she was such a help to everybody. Probably the most unassuming person in the room until she spoke. Georgina was absolutely exceptional as a person to work with because although she was always the brightest person in any room, she wanted her collaborators to work their way to the answer. I just learned more from her than from anyone else in my whole career. I just wish that I had learned more. I think Georgina's legacy is acting as a, as a global leader for science, for the science of biodiversity and conservation, but also how to put the important messages into policy and how to translate that into policy. The centre is really going to be fundamental to the, the future directions of where we're dealing with the challenges that the living planet faces. It requires these multidisciplinary approaches which are going to bring together biologists, so people who work here in particular, but engineers, chemists, mathematicians, physicists, etc. There is no bigger problem going forward than how everybody on the planet can live sustainably in a way that allows them all a decent quality of life, meets their basic needs, without degrading the planet beyond its ability to care for future generations. She has placed the study of biodiversity loss and what we can do about it on a rigorous footing. Rather than being anecdotal, now due to her efforts, it's evidence-based, it's comparative, it's global, and it's strong. So the Georgina May Centre is a cross-disciplinary, cross-faculty initiative. You know, we have these numerous skill sets and what the Georgina May Centre is able, enabling us to do is to bring them together and package them in one place to bring, you know, harness the minds that exist across this, you know, huge entity that is Imperial College. 
Everyone brings their own set of expertise to the table. Everyone is listened to, everyone is encouraged, everyone is supported, and that leads to wiser, better outcomes for the science, but also for the science policy and the way we live. What we like about the centre is it's, a, is it's an academic site and it's cross-functional and she was very much a cross-functional thinker. There you go.